Glen Affric is a forest that enlivens the spirit and invigorates the soul. In a country of beautiful landscapes, Glen Affric is among Scotland's finest. The Glen is a survivor. It's recovering from a difficult past where over many years the forest was cleared and replaced by conifer plantations. In the presence of high numbers of grazing animals, young trees and plants were unable to gain a foothold, stifling the wild woods recovery. And the drainage of peatlands has left a bare, degraded landscape in many parts of the glen. But nature has found refuges out of the reach of hungry mouths, which means that rare trees and plants could come back, given a chance. People have lived in and around Glen Affric for thousands of years. They've cut timber, hunted deer and grazed livestock for food. Sometimes this has been in harmony with nature. Sometimes it has caused damage and conflict. In the last 60 years, many people have championed the forest. People like Professor Stevens, who first recognised its importance, and forester Finley McRae, who started restoring the pine woods in the 1960s, and people like Trees for Life founder Alan Watson Featherstone, who has worked tirelessly to enable the forest to recover and spread. Now, Glen Affric is growing again. The old granny pines that have stood for 250 years are surrounded by young pines. Free from intense grazing, the pioneers of a future forest. There are trees growing further up the mountains than we once thought possible, creating wooded hillsides and a natural tree line not seen in Scotland for generations. This recovery is showing us what's possible and is inspiring more and more people to give nature a helping hand to restore a rich, vibrant forest full of life. We now stand at a crossroads. Nature's recovery in Glen Affric is stuck behind fences designed to prevent grazing. To enable the forest to continue its journey, we need to let nature break free of those fences to plot its own course. And the prize is worth it. A coast-to-coast -coast network of forests for nature and for people. It's a route that golden eagles will hunt over and red squirrels will use to spread their range. This will only happen if we can manage deer to allow the forest to expand. This doesn't mean no deer, nor does it mean an end to our traditional relationship with this special place. We can still benefit from hunting, forestry and livestock grazing, but by working together, we can add diversity. Not only to the forest itself, but also to a vibrant nature-based economy. This glen is a survivor, but right now it needs our help. It needs us all to come together, shoulder to shoulder, to create an amazing wild forest. Stretching from east to west at a scale unparalleled in Scotland. A forest that will become a magnet for wildlife. A forest where people can visit, play, and let their imaginations soar, and a forest where people can live and prosper. Glen Affric, a forest for the future. <laughs>